Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. So yesterday we were exploring if we have a chance to rally from here. Um, the $2.4 level here on the futures chart was basically our, well, key threshold. Um, and you can see it broke it, right? And we have now the problem that we have five waves to the downside. So it can easily now continue its downtrend. We know that NetGas still has further space here in this support area. And it could theoretically in the current wave structure of a B wave within a larger fourth wave, it could theoretically oops, continue all the way to the lower boundary of the support area. We talk about 156 here. That is quite a lot of a, um, of a dip or a drop, right? So I'm just taking out the support, which obviously failed because net gas bulls did not show up in the support area. So the possible trend reversal isn't occurring here yet. Um, we have, well, have we broken previous low? If we have or haven't, it doesn't matter too much because while we haven't, yeah, so we haven't broken previous lows, um, we are basically forming here. I mean, you could consider it a top double bottom, triple bottom. Note that in most cases, these do not work out. That's why I tend to show you the um, relevant support areas. And because these support areas, like for example, yesterday I showed you the one um, measured off the low of the 6th of April low to the high. In most cases, 90% of cases, yeah, according to my experience, if the price breaks after a possible five wave move, it was not the most beautiful one, I did highlight that to you, but after a five wave move to the upside, if in the pullback, the 78.6 FIP level is broken and price sustains below it, what NetGas clearly does. Yeah, it, it did come down too low. Um, downside continuation is very likely. Yeah, of course, you know, there's the 10% of cases where it could now turn around and rally, but I just note that this is extremely rare. So for now, I just have to assume that either we're just continuing a very, very boring, slow sideways movement, or that we continue directly to the downside. So unfortunately, that attempt of the bulls was already thrown over. Yeah, it seems a bit like could be some kind of a triangle here. Yeah, oops, I just took out the ABC structure, didn't I? No, it's here. Um, I mean, what, what always can happen um, in this B wave, bear in mind, a B wave is again, an ABC structure. So it could be that we came down here in an A wave. This is some kind of a B wave triangle and it could even become an expanded triangle, which however is extremely rare. Ex expanding triangles are very, very rare, but they do exist. Um, so something like that, yeah. Um, especially because we seem to be making here higher highs, but also at the same time, lower lows. I mean, here it didn't make a new low, but it's pretty much, it, it might still do it. Um, such a triangle would suggest trend continuation to the downside. They are very rare though, but you have a very nicely defined range here now, nearly parallel lines. So for a range trader, that's beautiful, right? So here you have now, you know, all these support areas, very close to support now, very close, very low. I mean, for, for anybody who's trading this range now, it's beautiful, but at some point it will break naturally. Um, until it breaks, it can of course be traded, the up and down of the range. Now, I don't think it will go on for too long, um, but never say never with net gas, right? Cause it's, it's very draining, it's very boring. And we are, I mean, we are possibly in a bottoming structure. I mean, you know, we, we are in support. This is generally a support area for a B wave, which should ideally result in a C wave to the upside of a fourth wave. We talked about at least 320, sort of, yeah, for this C wave rally. But I can tell you that the C wave rally hasn't started yet. We, at the moment, we're just moving sideways. So we have a very nicely defined support and resistance level here. Uh, support is at one, well, basically $2 of the range and resistance is around 225. So break above 225 would based on this indicate the C wave is starting. At the moment, I don't see any signs it has started. Um, trend continuation to the downside, which in my opinion, according to such a structure is likely, would be confirmed below $2. So very straightforward. And next support on the way down would be 168 and then 156 on the futures chart. 
very clearly. And then we've got the spot chart, similar picture here. Yeah, um, Here on the spot chart, we don't have that much of a clearly defined range. It's a bit different. So we obviously had also the exploration here of the possible five wave move to the upside. Again, you can see the orange support area here went down to 196. Um, we broke below that just about, but I think we're going to sustain below it the way this is going. So also here, yeah, uh, we explored that this could be an elite wave triangle, wave four, and now wave five to the downside. Could have possibly started already the move up, but the wave two is always the one that needs to confirm. And obviously it didn't because it broke below 196. So also here, chances for the bulls are decreasing. It's not invalidated yet, um, but we also have a five wave move to the downside. So this could still theoretically be a, a wave two in some kind of a WXY structure maybe. Yeah, you can always make that work, but it's unlikely now, given that we broke below that 78.6% uh, FIP level. The overall structure is the same for futures and spot. It's just that here the levels are a bit different. So I don't think, I don't have any strong indication anymore that the C wave has started to the upside. It could have, but then I want to see with this structure now, which is again, like on the futures chart, basically sideways, I want to see a breakout of the range. And here we have a similar similar situation. Maybe this is also going to become an expanding diagonal, expanding um, triangle. They are rare though, yeah. But also here we have support around 191. That's the spot price and resistance at 217. So depending on where it's breaking out, we have the signal. Um, until then, the range can of course be traded. Um, yeah, and... What I cannot rule out is that this is still a fourth wave here, yeah, as we had it before, and the fifth wave is still in the making here, for example. But what I can tell you is that the bottom is probably not there yet in this B wave. So also here we have to have more patience, right? Market just moving sideways, very nicely defined range, even though on the futures chart, I find it even more, uh, even more, you know, clear, more clearly defined. So yeah, we need that breakout of the range, okay? And here next support would be 182 and 172. Below 172, I cannot consider this as a B wave and it would be, well, probably then not alternate wave two, but actually already the end of the wave two, which means that this overall bear market, yeah, at the, at the, at the moment, my assumption is before we finish this overall bear market with one more wave down, we should see quite a strong reaction to the upside in a C wave of an overall wave four before we come down in wave five of C of two. But let's see, yeah, it all depends on do we hold this B wave support. B waves can be so annoying and you can see that now and it's typically when people say, you know, it is um, it is a B wave because it, typically when people say it's manipulated, it's typically a B wave, okay? So let's see, unfortunately we need even more patience. I know how boring it is um, and um, yeah, no reason to change here um, the trend at the moment. It has failed to create a possible uptrend. All right, that's my update about net gas. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.